This weekend, I encourage you to think about your mission in life and even to write a mission statement. It's a good thing to keep you on track. Write a paragraph about what you wish to accomplish with your life. It has been said, whatever purpose motivates your life, it must be big enough and grand enough to make the investment worthwhile. In Proverbs 16, verse 4, it says, God made everything with a place and a purpose. Realize that you do have a place and a purpose in God's plan. You are not just a sideliner, not just someone to sit on the bench. You have a purpose. Whether you realize it or not, you are on a personal mission from God to honor God, to follow God's instruction, and I believe to serve God's other children. You will encounter stumbling blocks. We all do. I do. But as you go forward, you don't allow those stumbling blocks to stop you. You attempt to discover your exact nature of God's purpose for your life. And you must, as you do this, never lose sight of the overriding purpose that God has established for all of us. You will be reminded of these purposes again and again as you go to church on Sunday, as you worship God, as you study God's Word. Each day is a brand new day and a brand new opportunity to live out your mission to serve God and to worship God. When you do so, you will bless God and you'll be blessed in so many miraculous ways. I pray that you continue to seek God's will. I pray that you trust God's promises. I pray that you trust God's promises more than those stumbling blocks that have, that have walled you in in the past. I pray that you get up, dust yourself off, and continue to walk towards your goals. And may you find the place and fulfill the purpose of your life and your life in the world. God bless you.